Our next guest is an actor, writer, and filmmaker extraordinaire. You can see him now along with an Aniston and a Witherspoon in The Morning Show. New episodes come out Fridays on Apple TV+. Please welcome Mark Duplass. <laughs> Doing all right. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. It's good to see you. It's good to see you too, man. Yeah, you're out of the hole now, huh? Out of the hole. You um, for people who haven't seen the morning show, you play like a producer on the show on a, one of these TV news morning shows. Yep. Which seems like kind of a terrible job. I mean, I hear it's pretty awful. You know, there are there are these personalities you have to deal with. These these live television hosts that have egos and yeah. insecurities and uh, I don't know. I so I've heard, yeah. Yeah, it's a thing. But it's that's a thing. like a morning thing, really. Yeah. That's yeah. like a, yeah, I think that's right. Probably yeah. related to how early people I, that, are waking up. That's what I hear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the show has received numerous accolades, you yourself included, Emmy nomination. And Thank you. Thank you. You're part of this cast that is like a uh, dream team yeah. uh, of uh, you know, of course, you know, Jennifer Aniston and, and Reese Witherspoon. And then you got Steve Carell, who you um, punched uh, on the show. I, I did. What it's, is it like to punch Steve Carell? You know, it's an interesting thing. He's one of maybe the least punchable people in the world. He's Uncle Steve. Like, you love Steve. He's so sweet. And I was kind of nervous. Like, I grew up in New Orleans. I punched a couple of people, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, as we were getting into the fight choreography for the scene, I, I was sort of like, you know, Steve... Let me let me take the fall on this one. You know, you fall on me, and I and I'll protect you. And he was sort of like, you know, Mark, I'm not sure you want to do that. And kind of took off his jacket, and like I saw him for the first time in his natural state in that tight sweater. And the dude is yoked, like <laughs> Terminator jacked. He, they like hide it in the movies because they want him to be oh, sweet Stevie. Interesting. And, and I was like. No longer afraid to hurt Uncle Steve. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to make it out of here alive. <laughs> wow. It's interesting, a, you, a different way. And by the way, there's nothing less tough sounding than fight choreography. Yeah. That really yeah. takes all the, yeah, exactly. <laughs> all the, the brutality of it and oh, turns 100%. it into ballet. Yeah. But um, yeah, the, like, I guess, yeah, you're right. I'm going to have to look, I'm going to have to inspect his body the next time I see him. Listen. You need to do a lot more inspecting <laughs> of male bodies. Yeah. You know what? That's on my New Year's resolution list it. for you next year. You got it. Your, um, your wife, Katie Azelton, who's very talented, uh, is plays your fiancé on the show. This is your wife in real life yep. playing your fiancé on the show. And, it, and I assume, like, COVID had something to do with that, yes? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Look, we were lucky because, you know, it was the height of COVID. She was supposed to be on another movie. She fell out, so we got a score in getting her on the show. Uh -huh. But there was an extra complication, which is that my character is supposed to be making out with my fiance's character on this show. And in the middle of COVID and protection, we don't even want to touch each other on set, much less make out. So the producers were thinking, how are we going to find someone to safely make out with Mark? We totally scored with Katie and everybody was happy, except for the night before we're about to shoot, Katie and I are going to bed and we're like, okay, wait a minute. So, we need to play a couple who has just recently met, who's desperately excited to be kissing each other with fireworks everywhere. We've been married for 20 years. Our kisses don't look like that anymore. <laughs> so I was like, well, that's really a problem. So yeah. I did what any you know, husband and, and scene partner would do. I just said, listen, you just need to replace me in your head with whatever you need to do in that moment. Just close your eyes and pull one of those Ryans, a, a Reynolds or a Gosling, or uh -huh. a, maybe, there's a, maybe there's a Hemsworth or a somebody. Don't tell me who it is. <laughs> Don't ever tell me who it is. But just grab somebody. What if it's a Carell with his uh, rippling body? It could be. <laughs> you know? I mean, I don't want to throw things out there. I really wish you hadn't said that. So really, when I, I really I'm reading wish. into this conversation yeah. is that when you do have a love scene or a make-out scene with an actress, you're super excited to do it. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's usually a really exciting thing, but this one was... Because everyone always says the opposite. Oh, you know... The That's a lie. In my opinion, to be a professional actor, you have to say, uh, a kissing scene is like, it's like a fight scene. It's like choreography. There's nothing romantic about it. 
and that is the right thing to say. But the truth of the matter is, things happen and people get excited. And you've, so you're saying you've been excited. You've been physically excited. Shall dare I say erect during a scene? Emo emotionally, emotionally, yes. I'll, I will. I will give into. You've I'll, been emotionally erect. I will give into emotionally. Yes. I mean, listen. Surprises happen on sets. There's just any anything can happen. Wow. So that's the way it is. Oh yeah. wow. Yeah. yeah. That's the footage we want to see <laughs> at the end of the movie where they yeah. everything is like you know yeah, fun exactly. and there's all these bloopers and then there's you yeah. know like Bob with a boner. Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> Great title for a show, by the way. Yes. Um, you are, you are, um, are you a good kisser? Like, do you feel like you deliver in those situations? Um, humble beginnings. Uh, my first kiss was um, a little bit of a, a, a problem. What, how old were you? I was, I was like 13. Um, okay. I think I was in seventh grade. And, um, you know, they're always kind of set up at that time. Like, you know what's gonna happen. Like, we got tickets to go see Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Mark and Shannon are going to the movie theater. <laughs> I know which seats we're gonna sit in. I've been practicing in the mirror for like four weeks. Like, got all, you know, and this is like before like TikTok and YouTube instructional videos. I'm like, just, you know, I was just told like, move the tongue in really fast circles consistently, and, <laughs> and this will be a successful kiss. Like, nothing to do with chemistry, just like a sporting event. Okay. You know? <laughs> so, and so I go in, and I thought I performed really, really well. And um, and the next day at school, I show up, and everybody's like, "What's up, Mark the Shark?" And I was like, "I'm sorry, what'd you say?" Like, "What's what's up, Mark the Shark?" And Shannon had apparently told everyone that I bit her tongue. Oh, did you? I don't think I did. I don't know why she would lie. I, <laughs> listen, I'm gonna evolve, I believe women, okay? <laughs> this is 2021, so I have to really believe at this point, I must have done something wrong. <laughs> Well, you hear the phrase bite your tongue, and you don't know yeah. which one they mean. <laughs> I know what that means, yeah. You mean mine, you mean hers, it doesn't make sense. And the it... worst part is I still haven't seen Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I cannot <laughs> bring myself to see the movie. It was good, it was really good. I'm just too emotionally triggered. Like, I just can't, I can't get there. You, uh, you had a productive, uh, well, you worked a lot over this COVID thing. You shot a movie, and I heard a little bit about this movie. Explain what the idea behind this movie is. Yeah, so I made a movie called Language Lessons, um, you know, and, and this was like two months into the pandemic when we were all struggling, like, am I gonna bake bread? And I'd already watched all the 90s comedies with my kids, and what am I gonna do? So I thought, well, I'll brush up on my Spanish. So I started taking online lessons uh, with this institute in Guatemala, and weirdly enough, I started developing kind of a really deeper emotional connection with this Spanish teacher over 2D FaceTime. And I was like, wow, this is interesting. In a time when we're feeling isolated and alone, I'm actually developing a bigger connection. So I called my friend, Natalie Morales, who's a wonderful actor, filmmaker in her own right. She made a movie called Plan B. If you haven't seen it, it's incredible. Um, and, uh, and so we joined forces and literally wrote an outline in a week, shot in five days, and we had a movie four weeks later. Ah, and the movie's about your relationship with this translate or yeah, it's a, teacher. It's, it's sort of a platonic love story, and I really like I really like the idea of putting something out there at this time that said we can really connect, you know, through video communication, even at a time where we can't be together in person. But perhaps more importantly, and my wife Katie will tell you this, I have sort of an obsession with shooting movies in the houses we live in. Um, and we were about to sell this house, and I was like, I have to shoot a movie in this house before we sell it, because get my money's worth out of this house. Really? Wow. Yes. <laughs> so that was really the main motivation. <laughs> well, that's, yes. a, what a beautiful sentiment. It sounded like a really lovely film, and then you turned it into a tax incentive. Yeah, it's wonderful, because yeah. really, that's what art is all about at the end of the day. A good write-off. Well, that sounds like a good date movie for us, Guillermo. Uh, the you. movie, and what's the movie called? The movie's called Language Lessons. It's out in theaters now, and it'll be out for rental in a couple of weeks. And, of course, The Morning Show, new episodes Fridays on Apple TV+. Plus. Mark Duplass, everybody. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, guys. We'll be right back on Angels and Airwaves. Thanks for watching. And remember, every time you click the subscribe button, one of your enemies gets destroyed.